Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my nail polish birthday haul video. Most people celebrate their birthday but I like to celebrate the whole month. And so the whole month I've been treating myself to nail polish. Uh, the reason being nobody in my family or friends, nobody around me, even though they know that I love nail polish, nobody ever gives me nail polish. Because according to them, I already have enough, which you know for all of us nail polish addicts, it's never enough. So every October for the last three years when I started collecting, I just been gifting myself nail polishes. Of course, I try to be smart about my purchases, but if I really want something and there's a sale because again, I never pay full price for my polishes, um, I pick them up. It's, it's my birthday month, so I, I'm gonna treat myself. Disclaimer, this haul video does come from a nail polish addict. Nobody really needs this amount of polish or nobody really needs to purchase this amount of polish in 26 days. I mean, it's crazy. I have no idea how many polishes I have to share with you. I haven't counted them yet. I have three packages that haven't made it home yet. One of them is gonna be delivered later on this afternoon, but I really wanted to film right now when I have time so that I can have this video up before the end of the day. I am filming this today, October 26th, which is my birthday. So I know I'm not gonna have time to film it later on because we're gonna go have dinner. It is my birthday weekend. Technically, we're still in my birthday month, but I mean, it's October 26th, I think I've had enough of hauls. So I'm gonna slow it down now and just wait till Black Friday. So this might be a little excessive. I I know it's excessive, let's, let's just keep it real. But yeah, today's my birthday, so I figured today was the perfect day to upload and get this video out for you guys. We're gonna change the setting a little bit in this video. I'm gonna go back to my desk so I can show you close-ups. I do not have swatch pictures of most of these polishes. And if I do, I would mention it once as I'm sharing them to you. Eventually, I will have swatch pictures of these polishes. But for now, I'm just gonna show you bottle shots, you know, talk a little bit, not too much about each polish because I don't want this to be a very long video. And then I'll meet you back up here for my outro. So let's get into the polishes. All right, guys, before we get started, I wanna talk about what's on my nails because this polish is part of my birthday haul. I finally placed an order with Colores de Carol. I got two polishes from her website. Uh, there was a 20% or 25% discount code, so I decided it's now or never. And I really wanted to get my hands on this polish before Halloween. So on my nails, we have this beautiful thermal from Colores de Carol. This is Dracula's Fangs. And this polish is just very complex. It's a thermal. Like I said, you can see my ring finger over here is turning probably because of the ring light. Um, but it's been staying black most of the time because I am cold. Black is their the cold state and it transitions clear when it's warm as you can see at some of my nails it's happening right now before our eyes this is a brand that's been on my lemon list for a while so i was very excited to get my hands on these polishes uh so far i do like this polish on this hand i am wearing three coats on this hand i stopped that too uh, but let me tell you why i had to add three coats on this one simply because if you can tell sorry there it is the polish kind of pulls from the tips. You see that? Like the tip is white and it has nothing to do with the thermal transition. I love the brushes in this polish. I had no issues. I think even the consistency of the polish is great. But this polish, and I don't know if it's going to be all of her polishes, but this one specifically pulls back from the tips. I'm not sure if you guys can see. Um, I mean, on this hand, I added a third coat to see if I can cover the tips. But here on my pinky, you can kind of see it. And unfortunately, that pulling back from the tips is one of my biggest pet peeves. I don't like when polishes pull from the tip. I That's just, like I said, one of my biggest pet peeves. Uh, this polish is beautiful. It's an amazing thermal. It's very unique to my collection. I have nothing like this. Look at this bottle. It's... It's amazing. The components in here are amazing. The transition is beautiful. I just don't like that it pulls from the tip. So I'm going to try the other one that I purchased. And if that formula does the same thing, then this will probably be the only two that I keep from Colores de Carol. Her brush is amazing. I mean, her creations are stunning, which is why this is one of the indie brands that was at the top of my lemon list. So I'll try the other one, and then I guess I'll let you know my overall feel on these polishes. But let me show you the other one that I purchased. I mean, this polish is so beautiful. Look at that, you guys. It's a holographic multi-chrome with flakies and it's fall in a bottle this is so beautiful this is in the shade my favorite color is fall and when I saw the release pictures for this polish I knew I needed to have this one 
this just speaks to my soul like you have no idea i am very excited to try the formula on this one hopefully it doesn't pull the way uh, this one did overall. I'm very happy to have these two polishes in my stash And I really really hope that this one doesn't pull on my tips because I want to try more from her All her polishes are beautiful when I purchased the polishes from uh, Colores de Carol I used the coat from an indie event I will put the name of the event here on the screen because unfortunately I don't remember But basically they have a universal coat that works on different websites of indies and they all have a different offer I believe it was a 20% coupon for noodles nail polish so I I decided to go for it and place my first order this is another indie brand that I had been dying to try and I picked up four I haven't tried any of this on my nails yet so I don't know how the formula works but I'm just gonna quickly show you what I got this is like a turquoise base with tons of fall glitters red orange gold and a holographic dusting and I'm pretty sure there's more but you know for the purpose of this video I'm just gonna quickly show them to you this is so beautiful this is in the shade Fall Breeze and Crunchy Leaves. I also picked up this beautiful Halloween theme polish. I mean, just, this is Halloween in a bottle. This is so perfect. It's a gray base with um, Halloween glitters too, but this one has orange, gold, black, and it's so pretty, you guys. Look at that. Stunning. This is in the shade Hide and Shriek. Another curly type looking polish that I couldn't leave behind. I'll, I'll just let the bottle speak for itself, you guys. Look at that. So beautiful. And this is in the shade Happy Harvest. And last but not least, I have this one, which was from their um, one of the recent fall collections, I believe. Look at that. I mean, this is so sparkly and beautiful. I love the base color, that purple. This is in the shade Autumn Splendor. So here they are, my new four noodles nail polish. I cannot wait to play with them. I purchased them during my birthday month for review purposes, but I still wanted to share them with you once again, very briefly. I have all my um, Sally Hansen polishes. This one right here is Falling Deep. Then we have this almost black, but it's navy from Sally Hansen as well to the moon and black. The most beautiful green i've seen recently which is bamboost this one's stunning also this beautiful glowy polish which is indie glow if it would focus there you go indie glow and last but not least we have slicks and stones all of these are from Sally Hansen, and I do have a swatch and review video on my channel. I'll link it in the description box for you. The other set of polish that I purchased with the intent of reviewing with you guys earlier this month are the Salon Perfects. I have the Black Hollow in the shade Ashes to Ashes. I have the Holographic Glitter in the shade Dust to Dust. I also have this beautiful polish right here in the shade Nine Lives. And last but not least, uh, Burnt Orange Holographic Polish in the shade Shapeshifter. All of these four polishes uh, were recently featured on my channel. I will leave the video to these polishes in the description box as well. All right, guys. So one of the first purchases that I made this month uh, was from Sally Beauty. They had a really good sale going on. They had a lot of polishes on sale. Okay, the first polish that I have to share from you is from OPI, and this is in the shade... Susie Chases Portuguese. And I believe this is part of their uh, Lisbon collection that was released earlier this spring. This is an off-white polish with a hint of blush. In addition to that from Sally Beauty, I picked up the summer collection from Finger Paints, which is very fall leaning even though it's a summer collection all of these polishes will be perfect for this season uh, if you want to see a review on this collection let me know in the comments below but uh, here I have this beautiful like dusty mauve holographic polish this is in the shade majestic another one that's part of the collection is this beautiful like periwinkle holographic polish in the shade pixie dust look at this polish you guys i mean it looks amazing on the bottle it's a bright red holographic polish look at all that hollow this is in the shade red rocket then we have like this light orange i want to say again it's a hollow and this is in the shade solar flare oh my gosh they look so good moving on to this bright fuchsia polish it's like very shimmery there's some uh 
like tiny flecks in there that are turned blue. It's so beautiful. This is in the shade Phantom Fuchsia. And the last one from the Finger Paints collection is another uh, holographic polish. And this is in the shade Cosmic Chaos. The Sally Hansen polishes that I just shared with you, I purchased them from Ulta because like I said, Ulta had a really good sale. And on that sale, I also picked up two of the Crayola Sally Hansen Insta Dries. They had the whole collection on sale, but these were the only two that I was missing that I was really interested in. This beautiful color is in the shade Apricot. And then this is a beautiful green, which I've seen a lot in uh, Halloween manis recently. This is Inchworm. This month, I did a lot of uh, these stash sale huntings and I managed to get a lot of indies all of these polishes for really good prices you guys I believe the most I paid for one was seven dollars but most of them I got them from a five dollar sale you will see a swatch and review of this polishes soon the first polish that I found on this amazing sale these stash page was this beautiful what looks like a black hollow. It looks black on the bottle, but with the ring lights, now I'm seeing that it might be like a really dark, deep blue. I don't know. Uh, I haven't tried on my nails, so who knows. But this is in the shade Black Gold Texas Tea. I also got my first polish from 77 Nail Lacquer. And this is like a burgundy base with lots of shimmers in there, holographic glitters and whatnot. And this is... Ghostess with the Mostess. Uh, you've seen this video on my channel already. This is from Grand Polish and this is House of a Thousand Corpses. I just showcased this polish on my Halloween theme polishes I own. So I'll link that video in the description box as well. In addition to that, I also got my hands on this beautiful light pink from Glam Polish. This is in the shade Baby You're a Firework. And I had to get it. It's just so beautiful. I also got my first Scofflaw polish, and this is actually a polish pickup polish. This is in the shade The Love Witch, and I can't remember off the top of my head which month this was featured in, but I know it's a polish pickup polish, and it's so pretty. I don't have anything like this in my collection, and I'm excited to finally try something from this brand. On my Halloween theme polishes I own video, I mentioned that I only owned Polish for Days glitters, uh, but I forgot that I had actually picked this up recently on the D stash for $5 too. This is like a purple with a strong like magenta flash with lots of components in there as you can see. And oh my gosh, this polish looks so beautiful. Check that out. Stunning. This is in the shade Milky Way. It's so beautiful. So for once, I'm going to be able to try a more complex polish from Polish for Days, which I'm very excited. I do enjoy their glitters, but, you know, I also wanted to try a different kind of polish from them. Another new-to-me indie brand uh, is Dawn Diva, and this is from one of the recent collections, and it looks like it's a Crelly. I, again, I don't know. I haven't put this on my hands, uh, but there's, like, pink, purple, uh, holographic glitter some of them are matte some of them are metallic it's so beautiful and so fun this is in the shade wang doodle and last from my d stash haul i picked up two polishes from a brand that i've been dying to try i mean just take a moment you guys look at that isn't that just so beautiful look at that purple blue shift so stunning this is in the shade boots and scarves and from that same collection, I picked up this holographic, mustardy goodness. It's so beautiful. And this is in the shade Corn Maze. I cannot wait to put this on my nails. This is just so beautiful. But yeah, that's Fair Maiden. Finally, some Fair Maiden polishes I own. After hunting those D-Stash sale pages, I decided that I wanted to try more indies. So I'm going to quickly show you some polishes that I grabbed from a new-to-me indie brand. I do plan to have a very special video, similar to the one I did on 1850 Artisan Nail Polish. The first polish that I got in the order as a gift was this beautiful shimmering green, and this is in the shade Algae. Then another gift was this beautiful holographic multi-chrome goodness. I mean, this polish... I mean, this bottle is so shifty, you guys. Let me see if, I, if you can catch some of that 
it's very holographic and very shifty. And this one doesn't have a name. Um, like I said, I got this as a gift, so it was probably an oops batch. I don't know. These are the two polishes that I actually purchased. And this one right here, it's a gray with tons of different shifty uh, flakies. This is in the shade Unicorn Blood, and it looks amazing. And this polish right here was a Mystery Princess polish. I'm not going to reveal the name right now, uh, but this is the one that she's selling as a Mystery Princess on her website. Uh, so stay tuned for the review if you want to know the name, but this polishes all look gorgeous in the bottle. Uh, review of the brand coming soon. And I think I totally forgot to mention, this is Louise. It's an indie brand, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> Up next, I have this package that I'm just opening. It is from KL Polish. She had a 40% off sale, and I decided to go nuts and buy all the polishes that I was missing from her, including her fall collection and a few that I was missing from her spring collection. So let's look into them. I am noticing that the fall collection is wrapped on black paper and all the other individuals that I purchased are on bubble wrap. So that's weird. All right, the first polish that I have here, this is, again, this is from their fall collection. This is Jane. This is so pretty, a cream polish. Up next, we have Cafe Disco and it's this shimmering brown. I love it. So pretty. I have nothing like this in my collection. Here's Caramelo's baby sister. This is peanut butter. There it is. Beautiful. Oh, here's this luscious purple. This is a favorite of many. Uh, and I can totally see why. This is a dupe for Essie Sexy Divide. And this is in the shade Isma. Next, we have another favorite from the collection. This is in the shade Medusa. Personally, I don't think this is gonna be my favorite. I've seen swatches and I have polishes that are similar to this, that this is not unique to my collection at all. I feel like I already have two other polishes that are similar to this, but I get it. If you don't have something like this in your stash, this really has a unique factor. It's very unique to that collection too. But anyway, that's Medusa. Again, I'm over here reviewing stuff. I need to stop, guys. If you wanna see a review on the Kale Polish Fall 2018 collection, let me know. Uh, last but not least, we have my favorite of the collection, simply because it's a blue, and this is $14.35. Oh my goodness, look at this beautiful blue. This is cozy in there, and I love it. I'm so happy to have this one, guys. I cannot believe it took me this long to get my hands on it, but so worth it. I mean, 40% off, right? Here's another one that was very recommended to you guys on my faves for fall video when I asked for a fall green. This is Chloe. This is a beautiful green. Perfect, perfect for fall. I cannot wait to try this. Up next, we have Charmed, which was everybody's favorite from her spring collection. I am still missing two polishes from this collection, so I'll get them on her next sale. But this is so pretty, guys. Again, my love for special white polishes. This is not enough white. It truly is a white, but there's some shimmer in there. Um, I cannot wait to put this on my nails. Oh my, look at that. It's so pretty. This is Marshmallow Sunset. Even though I love KL Polish, I never purchase her polishes full price. Unless they're a limited edition collection, I get them right away because I don't want to miss out. I am collecting all of her polishes. That's just me being a crazy polish lady so yeah next sale i hope to get what i'm missing from the spring collection one of the packages that didn't make it in time before i filmed this video is actually from kl polish i did purchase the whole zodiac collection so expect a review video on that collection soon as well so much polish i'm running out of room all right, guys, the last set of polishes that I have for you came from Walgreens, and I'm going to speed through them because I've been sitting here for a while, and it's time for me to go pick up my daughter from school. Anyway, these are the ones that I picked up. I do have planned videos for some of them, uh, so expect to see swatches of those soon as well. First up, we have this new addition to their core line, which is Raw Ranch. So pretty. Another orange, because, you know, I'm in love with my oranges, is this one from their matte collection. This is Brave. The last orange that I have is from their Halloween display. This is not new, but it was, you know, being displayed with all the new ones. This is Courtney Orange, and this is beautiful. 
even my daughter when she saw it she was like mommy can you put that on my nails it's it's very eye-catching I also got my hands on bad witch in this beautiful periwinkle shimmering periwinkle this is in the shade spellbound another new addition to their core line is this beautiful blue you know I'm a sucker for blues this is holla at you boy and this was my first time seeing this polish so as soon as I saw it I didn't even think twice I knew it was coming home with me plus for a dollar 49 you can't really say no to that right then we have this nude which was also in addition to their core line this is Coco Bay I picked up a cuticle oil from Sally Hansen because it was on clearance on last chance clearance for like three dollars and I'm a sucker for a sale so I brought this home with me and last but not least I have this beautiful great polish from SC in the shade social lights all right guys so that was a lot of polish I haven't counted them simply because like I said I'm missing my package from KL polish which should arrive today in the afternoon and I also have two other packages which were from a dish dash sale and they're all simple colors so I'm very excited to get them I managed to acquire some lemmings in that haul so eventually you'll see them popping up in another videos uh, thank you so much for sticking around till the end of this video. I know it I think it might be a long one simply because it took me about 30 minutes just to show the polishes. I was talking so much and I totally lost track of time. So I'm gonna make this outro really quick, even though I've been sitting here for a while. But I really have to go. I gotta go get my daughter from school. But before I go, I wanna say thank you for your support. Uh this is definitely a special birthday because I'm celebrating it with you guys. And I wanted to celebrate it by doing a giveaway. And uh, today I'm going to be giving away this four pack of polishes from Soya. In this package you're going to have Monica, Adina, Aggie, and Debbie. It's a beautiful set, beautiful fall colors. It's from Soya so you know they're going to be good. And yeah, I want to share them with one of you guys to celebrate my birthday. Uh, the giveaway rules are going to be similar to the last one that I hosted. You got to be 18 or older. You got to be subscribed to my channel. Make sure your subscriptions are public so that I can verify that you are a subscriber. Uh, what else? Be in the USA. I'm um, sorry, international friends. I'm really, really sorry, but bear with me. And, um, sorry, just, I look a mess. Last rule is to answer a question. I want you to tell me what's your favorite flavor for your cake. Do you like strawberry, vanilla, chocolate? Do you like ice cream cake? Just let me know what's your favorite kind of cake in the comments below. Make sure to answer the question. That's the only way I'm going to know that you made it to the end of the video and therefore you qualify to win this four-piece set from Soya. It's very important that you answer the question because if you don't, I will not count your entry. This giveaway will be open for one week, so it would close, I believe it's November 2nd. I will then contact the winner in the comments below of this video. I will reply to your comment in addition to the reply of whatever you leave me. So stay tuned, keep up with your notifications. If you want to, leave me in your comment your Instagram handle if you have one. And maybe I can reach you via DM on Instagram if that's going to be easier for you. Uh, I don't want you leaving emails or anything like that in the comments below because I know that's private and uh, this is a public channel so that's all you guys any more details that i'm missing sorry i'm in a rush i would leave them in the description box for you so make sure you check that out too for other videos as well as always guys thank you so much for your support thank you for watching uh thank you for being part of my birthday this year uh it really feels like i'm celebrating with 400 over 400 of y'all out there so thank you thank you so much for your support um i hope you guys like what i have for you and yeah good luck to everybody uh make sure to come back on monday for another video as of right now i'm not sure what i'm gonna upload on monday i haven't filmed anything i'm like so behind as you can tell i mean i'm filming this the day it's gonna go live so i'll let you go now guys because i gotta edit this and get it up before i go for my birthday dinner thank you so much for everything again and i'll see you in my next one bye